Hey guys, um, so this is just a disclaimer. Um, before I tell you anything about my surgeries and the procedures I'm doing, I just wanna make it crystal clear that I would never push surgery on someone, especially abroad. It's a really, really um, big decision. I've done a research over a year. Actually, it was my birthday last year, which my birthday is November 26th. I went out to dinner with a girlfriend and she showed me Dr. Mario, the tooth guy. And I was like, okay, that was a slam dunk. I mean, there was no question in my mind I wanted to go to him. But for my breast lift and, oh, I'm doing breast lift. Um, for all that other surgery, I really, really wanted to do my research. So it took me over like almost a year um, to find my doctor. And I mean, I'm talking real self, YouTube, American Society of Plastic Surgeons, um, which she's a member of. So I really did my research, I didn't just jump and um, decide tomorrow I want to go to Columbia and do surgery. So I just want that extremely clear. Now with that said, <laughs> okay, I'm going to Dr. Hanau. He's in Cali, Columbia. He's amazing. I'll tag him below. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm doing a breast lift with implants because my implants are over 12 years old and I'm doing a mini tummy tuck. I've just, I've done lipo on my stomach twice and it just never gets all the way flat. There's just skin and rolls that are still there no matter what. Um, so I'm doing a mini tummy tuck and then I'm doing a lipo with BBL. After I took out my butt implants, my butt is now like loose and saggy a little bit. So the fat will help just like round out the shape. I'm not going big at all. I, I, if anything, I'm gonna tell him, Imagine an orange and cut it in half. Like I just want two little like cheeks, you know, like I don't want, right now it's just like a little saggy and a little messy. Um, so that's what I want and I'm very, very excited and I would appreciate if you guys gave me no negativity because that's not really cool. I've done my research and I don't need to hear, you're gonna, this person died and this person died and this person died. Well, my doctors had zero deaths. My doctors on the American Society of Plastic Surgeons you could research that yourself. You know, I'm not just going to the cheapest person by any means. Um, so I just want to address that. And if you guys want pricing on him, I'm obviously not sponsored by either of the two. I'm paying full price and they don't even know I'm a blogger, FYI. Um, but yeah, just email them. I did the same exact thing that you guys would do. Just email their link in their bio and send them pictures and tell them what you want and they will respond to you. Every doctor has responded to me in Cali, Columbia within 24 hours. I did email more before I had met my doctor now. And I just, the, the aftercare, he owns a recovery house and the aftercare is just amazing. I mean, I've always recovered by myself so which is a really, really bad idea because I was in the plastic closet. I didn't want anyone to know. So I recovered by myself, which is a, a terrible idea. In Colombia, I'm gonna have somebody cooking me breakfast, lunch, and dinner, making sure um, all my bandages are clean, making, I don't really know. So every time that they sent me home with the garments and like bandages, I didn't know what I was doing. So, I mean, I don't know if the complications were based on my, wrongdoing or what but i'm going to be at the recovery house for over 20 days um they have a higher bird bear chamber um, that you could use daily and it includes daily massages and they feed you bathe you change your dressings i mean basically treat you like a queen so i'm really excited for that and that's all for now and leave all your questions below and also if you got through this much of the video kudos but leave me any tips on what I should bring um, to Columbia. Any, any tips because I really don't know how to pack at this point. So thank you.